Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me once again. Uh, last episode we did a triple uh, dungeon cleanup. We had been uh, plagued by those dungeons for a minute because we didn't have all the necessary tools, but uh, we finally got them or got what we needed and so we were able to knock them out pretty quickly. Um, picking up where we left off from last time, I think it would be good just to go ahead and hit these couple uh, fairy fountains while we're here at the top of Death Mountain. Now that we have Zelda's lullaby. I think in this episode I'm going to go try to do the ice cavern. What do we get? Okay. It's fire, so we're definitely going to need that for the Shadow Temple. Uh, yeah. Because in we need Saria's song from the ice cavern because I'm pretty sure at some point I read a gossip stone that said that the frogs held the iron boots, which we, you know, will definitely need for the uh, water temple. And I think we have all but two. Yeah, all but two of the uh, necessary songs. Is it this way? I think it's this way. And so we need to, still need to find a Pona song. Don't have any idea where that's currently at. But all we can do is go off for what we know for now. And then there's probably a few things now that we could uh, try to do now that we have a few more items in our repertoire. Don't think, uh, actually, I thinking about the dense fire was actually very fitting since you get it from a fairy fountain, but that, that was, uh, not worth it. I think we have the serenade of water, right? Actually, what am I doing? That won't help us. That won't help us get to, uh, I should have read that while I was right there. I don't know if I've read that one. Going to Lake Kylie, it won't get us to uh, Doors of the Main. No, of course not. Oh well. Might come bite me the butt later, but I'm just gonna hold off on that gossip stuff. I don't know if there's a hole in it. I'm very bad at remembering certain secrets. Yeah, nothing in those. Thinking out loud. If we want to, can we anything in these? Either. If we want to do a couple more things, we could always uh, head to. Oh, I that. Call it number that. I like the hook shot right here. Might as well. We could do the shooting gallery as a child. We could, now that we hit the Lens of Truth, go back for that one chest in the well. Could play that mini game that uh, cheat at with the, the Lens of Truth. We have a couple things that we can do. Right now, yeah, I don't know why I thought going to the Kylie like, might be faster. Doors of Domain's like right out here to the left. How many skatoles did I just get? And now that I think about it, let's go ahead and highlight our things. We did God Dense Fire. Okay. So, I was originally hoping that we could get um, all the medallions so we could actually beat the game a little bit quicker. I don't know why. I thought that that is a goal. 
but we're actually only one spiritual stone away from triggering the cutscene where Zelda's leaving the castle with Impa, and she gives you not only the uh, Ocarina of Time, but also the song, so actually it might be beneficial to do that, because uh, that could be the last song that we need. That might be a bonus song. I don't remember if... I don't think I've gotten any of the songs as items. They've only been given to me as randomized songs, if that makes sense. I know that there's a hole up there. I don't know if I could just jump up there as an adult. I can jump over these fences as an adult. What do you say now? Oh, yeah. I think we've already gotten the song from Saria. I think she would have, uh, I think that triggers after the Deku tree and not the, uh, get over there with the hover boots. Oh, wait, what am I? Alright, guys. Let's just be cool for like a second. Oh, yeah. We don't even need the hover boots. But yeah, I don't know if the Saria song triggers after... I mean, clearly it didn't trigger after the... Uh, um, Deku Tree. I did it. Maybe we should go back. I can't remember <laughs> how many songs we've gotten through. Might be beneficial for me to go back and rewatch old episodes. Very fountain right here. Oh, there's another hole right here. How many more holes than I remember? Oh, nice. Let's get a hint. Okay, so we have to get the spiritual stone then. Well, that wasn't worth it. But that hint was extremely helpful. I mean, at this rate, we might as well just do all the dungeons. We're what, over halfway through, right? Oh, I did not think I was going to make that for a second. Huh. Forty's Katolas gives us a slingshot. So does that mean that we just get a bigger carrying capacity? I have a feeling that the way the thing is programmed, that it's like if there's three, like the base, an upgrade, and an upgrade, that each of the three things, depending on, it doesn't matter which way you get them out of order, it's always progresses you, if that makes sense. I guess they have to do that because they don't know if you're going to do target practice or the shooting gallery or the other way you get bigger uh, carrying capacities first that made any sense too. I'm not an expert <laughs> on the randomizer if you can tell. Actually just thinking about it not only is the ice cavern really helpful but also the fact that we have that heart piece that's on that floating piece of ice and the one that's like Pharaoh's Wind or the fairy fountain that has Pharaoh's Wind so this actually might be a little fruitful endeavor oh but we <laughs> he's in the way because we didn't come here as a kid oh okay what to do now I think the best bet would be become a child. In some ways, I like these little setbacks because they kind of challenge you to think on your feet, but at the same time, there's nothing more disheartening than, oh, there's a thing right there. Song of Storms? Nothing more disheartening than having a game plan only to have it be 
uh, immediately being thrown out. Wow, there's just like fairy fountains everywhere. You know what? I'm here. I'll just get one. We still have our fish. We haven't given up on them yet. I thought it might be funny to name them, but if we name them, then that just is going to make it harder if we uh, ever decide to get rid of them. I think just as... Oh wait, it doesn't matter because we have, still haven't gotten the Kokiri Stone. No. Need to go to Hyrule Castle. We'll just focus on that. We'll become a kid. Play the mini games. Hopefully not take forever in the shooting gallery. Probably do the uh, the hidden chest. Linda Truth. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Just throwing out a bunch of words hoping that it's uh, clear what I'm talking about. Did I already come over here? Huh. I don't think so. I've been playing Song of Storms for holes. Uh, but it's shrubs. I honestly don't know if I wanted if I did the Shop Sanity. I don't know if I want to include the Deku Shrubs. Because I do not know where they're all at. There's only like, what, three or four shops in the game? But like, I don't know. Ten, twelve of the sh shrubs, I feel like. Especially the ones that are just randomly hidden in the little dungeons. Guess we could, with the long shot, technically go get to the Gerudo Valley. We do the uh, I don't know what you call it, the freeing the carpenter sequence. Lunged for me. Also, we haven't done any of the masks yet. I don't think the masks themselves are randomized, but I did select it so that if we you or have the bunny hood, it acts as the bunny hood for Majora's Mask. Okay, now let's go cheat the system and uh, go play that uh, uh, chess searching mini game. I'm just gonna say as many words as I can until I remember what it's called. Play it at night. Hopefully, we can play it at night. I think it and the bomb chew alley are open at night. I don't know if we did all the bomb chew. Stuff either. Now we did a couple of them. Yep, the lights are on, so we are free to play. Treasure box shop. Okay, I will never remember that in my life. Wait, how do we pick up a dog? <laughs> oh, sorry, little friend. No dogs allowed, I guess. I don't even know where you came from. It's funny to me that 
you can use the Linda Truth the same side chest, but I don't think you can do that on normal chests. I don't know why they made an exception in this game. Like, I don't know what came first, the Linda Truth, and the game came up. Because I thought it would be like a funny way to cheat it, or did the game come first? And then they were like, well, wouldn't it be funny if we made it so the Linda Truth made it so you could cheat at the game? Clearly, these are not randomized. That'd be a weird system if these chests were included. <laughs> okay, for some reason this one is. Now I gotta try it out. Let's see if you can see inside chest. I don't know why I'm opening it. We could have used that dick or shield at another point. Okay. Uh, that was kind of a bust. So we could always go back to Zoro's Domain. There are a couple things we can do in there. Uh, we can do the diving game and light the torches. Because just thinking about it, we can't. We need Rudu's letter to make Zora move over. Uh, and run the Sun Song really quickly. The dog stuck with us all through the night. Okay. I'll hold off on the shooting gallery for now. Now I said I was going to do it, but I just don't think that would be a good time watching me fail over and over again just yet. I think I tried. Yeah, okay. We didn't have the wrong back. I tried a, the hammer as an adult. Maybe it's not available as an adult. This. And I remember this. There's Katola in here. Can't do anything without a boomerang. We are just a couple away from level 20. Or the 20 reward, whatever you want to call it. could go do the diving thing in Lake Hylia. That actually might not be a bad thing to do. Simple. But that is kind of out of the way from where we're at now. I guess we could always, after doing the couple things in Zora's Domain, we could get a shortcut over there. Never mind, it's not that out of the way. What am I thinking? We've kind of established that the frogs will only give you rupees. There's no point of going ahead and giving it to them. Stone too. Kidding. 
up up there? Oh, that is way too tall. For a small guy. Oh no. Okay, well. I thought that was going to be bad. <laughs> I thought we were going to fall down into the river and be swept up in the current. Okay, we already did that. I'll just hop up there. Of course not. Okay. First things first is let's do the torch. I think that'd be the most straightforward thing. Guess we could just technically use dense fire to light it, but it seems pretty wasteful. It's not that far up here. Also, if we had the bunny head, just thinking about this. This would not be an issue at all. See how quickly, much faster we move than what the developers intended. Okay, there's one outside the shop. A couple behind. There's a lot of arrows, I'm realizing. There's a lot of arrows just in about. But it's not a secret? Interesting. <laughs> I guess Breath of the Wild kind of conditioned my brain to. You see a certain pattern and investigate it. So I was starting to think that any of those rings of rocks were. There'd be a secret hole underneath. skill is <laughs> sometimes if you I don't know if it's maybe luck over they land or it's actually skill based but sometimes in the initial jump you can uh, scoop up a few I mean it's not hard at all that would be really interesting if this guy Gives us Rudu's letter sitting next to the king, knowing that he has this letter from his missing daughter. But it's probably. Odds are not gonna be that. Hey, I'm happy about that. Every heart we fill is actually two with our. Our uh, buff, I don't know what you'd call it, the reinforced heart things. Should we go ahead and just get get this hard to sew and say we did it? You know what, while we're here though? Definitely need to do the Scarecrow song. Because they're <laughs> very possible that the fishing reward as an adult could be something we need. 
can also do the fire arrow. Skip that. Wait. I don't have to dive first. I think we dive the same amount, regardless if we're an adult or a kid. Yep. I mean, that sounded bad. Like, that kind of tracks. Like, he's like, oh, you're a fine specimen. Here's some money. I didn't think anybody would ever do it. Kind of like a contest of sorts. I forgot how to do this. Do I have to wait for him? Is that not a nice enough song for you? I honestly can't remember how the Scarecrow thing works. I don't know if that was it or... Not. No, while we're over here, we could do the the heart piece behind the uh, cow. I think that's where it is over here on the Gerudo. What you need is our trusty chicken to do that. Okay, I feel like their sight sometimes is a little too good. I don't see how they saw me all the way over there. I can just feel them breathing down my neck. Oh, it's the little ones. <laughs> I was thinking it sounded like there were like multiple P-hats or... I think that's what they're called, P-hats? I have no idea why they're called that. Her was a dangerous place as a kid. I don't feel like there's... It's not the Skull Childs when you're an adult. They don't, at least they don't come out of the ground. I don't know if there's a, like, logical reason why they don't. Flying things with razor blades. I can't get that guy. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, that's the one I'm thinking of. This chest. I'm pretty sure. It still has a heart container in it. Or not a heart container. Oh no, my chicken. I was gonna go down there next. Shoot. Okay. Um a fantastic dive. See that form? He like didn't even flinch as he fell hundreds of feet. We can take the owl. I know he has a name. I just can never remember it. Like Bora Gabora or something like that. I remember not really liking him as a kid, so that's probably why I do not remember his name now. I think he gives us a ride back to the castle, and then we could attempt the shooting game. We did it as an adult. 
in the kid version is actually supposed to be easier. Yeah, come on. Where do you spin me out of the castle? Oh, we're literally outside of the castle. That's fine. See if we can do this one and done. We got plenty of money, but we don't need to worry about it because we're gonna do one and done. After that, I decided to take a break. That was a lot of effort for <laughs> not any payoff, but I mean, that's the point of the randomizer, I guess. But in taking a break, it gave me a chance to think about how I wanted to keep progressing. The way I see it is that we have four dungeons left. We have the Water Temple, the Jabba Jabba's Belly, and the Spirit and Shadow Temple. We know we can't do the Water Temple anytime soon because we need the iron boots and we need the two remaining songs to do that because we know the frogs have the iron boots and with Jabba Jabba's belly we need Rudu's letter so I'm hoping that we can just go ahead and do the spirit or the uh, shadow temple because all we need is a song for either of those and I had totally forgotten that we had missed the sun song, like in the graveyard where the sun song actually is. So uh, I'm hoping that it might hold one of the warp songs. It potentially could have the Praetorlude Alight, which would be terrible for us. So I'm going to go ahead and start running that way to the graveyard so we can figure out how to go on. Because the way I see it is, if the Praetorlude Alight is in the graveyard, then we have to find Rudu's letter, which just means going around and opening up a bunch of chests, which I don't think would be particularly exciting. So I'm hoping that it's either the spirit or the shadow warp. And it would be better if we had the shadow because we have everything, I believe, to beat it. I don't, well, we don't have the boomerang, so we can't do the spirit. So I'm really hoping it's Nocturne Shadow. Because then that's a clear, clear path. And if we're really lucky, the medallion will be the Kokiri Emerald. So that means that we could then get the Song of Time and the Ocarina of Time. But let's not worry about that right now. There's so much stuff to try to keep straight as you move through this I wasn't really expecting how much I would have to stop down I think it's because in the beginning you know everything's open for you to grab so you just have so much potential stuff to unlock but then when you start getting into the nitty gritty and there's certain things that you need to find just keep progressing it gets a little bit uh, more intense and I don't know how I forgot about it. I guess because of the fact that we have the Sun Song, it just completely 
wipe from my mind. But since we have the sun song, we should be able to. Through. Oh, I forgot about this little intro. Thing last time in the normal playthrough, I didn't have Dense Fire yet when I came down here, so I wasn't able to do the torches, and I don't remember what happens if you light them. But since we're here and we have Dense Fire, might as well. Okay. Glad we did that. There's so many chests like this that I don't know about. Well, it's never a bad thing. I had a brief moment there. I was like, if this is Rudu's letter, this is going to be awesome. But of course, that would be too easy. Feels almost a little cheaty. Alright, what are we gonna get? And I believe, yeah. Nocturne of Shadow. Okay, good deal. Uh, this just became a Shadow Temple episode. Because, like I said, we should have everything beat it. We have the hover boots, we have the lens of truth, so I don't think there's anything stopping us. We just have to run back to the temple of time and become an adult, but then we can just warp there. So it won't be bad. I continue on my biggie good to let's do a double check now we got the nocturne still missing these two all the medallions all the virtual stones got one more scatola and I think that's it right we haven't gotten anything else I believe Okay, I don't know why. I felt like I hadn't done it in a while. That I might have a lot more to check off. Alright, let's see how quickly we can get back to Temple Time. I have a feeling the last warp song we're gonna get is gonna be the Prelude of Light. Because it's pretty much useless at the very end. Might have to do an episode at some point where I do go around to try to find more random chests. Probably also do Scatolas. But I haven't reached that level of desperation just yet. If I have to get that nitty gritty, I might need to probably look up. Uh, I mean, I guess I could use the tracker window, but systematically go through all the chests in each dungeon in each area. And I don't know what I would do. I don't feel like that'd be exciting to watch. I don't know if I would record it, but at the same time, I do find something good. Like, need to record it. But, again... I'll worry about that. We're not there yet. We have a clear goal in mind. And 
hopefully done this several times where I've been confident that we have everything we need <laughs> to do a temple and then I usually forget one key item. Or it turns out we need a key item that I didn't know was a key item. Just like the bracelet, the forest temple, and the fire temple. Okay. There we go. And now I know it. Just how long will it take me to get there? Ooh. Got some stone. Funny how I don't really notice these things. Oh. Okay. So I guess it is possible. I wonder that about Talon, Talon, if people could do the ice trap. Okay, so we won't waste blue flame on the king then. <laughs> it's both a helpful hint and not a helpful hint. Definitely need the lens of truth. It would be kind of nice if the randomizer head also put it on the D pad. I don't know if there's anything else that. Oop, I don't know why we went one more. I don't know if there's anything that goes on top of the D pad, but it'd be so nice if it was its own thing. onto these guys. Kind of weird that it wouldn't let me do anything. There's an option in the randomized settings that allowed you to have size appropriate chests. Which is kind of an interesting idea in that like you know, keys will only be in small chests, I like, guessing is what it means. Yeah, here we go. So this is normally where to get the hover boots. Oh, that was weird. Close to do a jump attack. Big Goron sword, too. Too long to hit him properly. Oh, he's way back there. What's going on here? That's weird. Can I actually attack these hands? I don't know if I've ever really noticed, because I feel like as soon as you get close to them, they grab you. Okay, come on now. I feel like the length of this weapon is hindering us a little bit. 
can't really tell if it does more damage or not. Because I know we can do jump attacks on this guy. Oh wait, I think I got the hand in that one. Okay, can we... Okay, I don't know what was going on there. I feel like I did not struggle with it last time. I mean, just doing jump attacks at us. Yeah, so we can't see inside these chests. I was wondering that after playing the minigame. That's a big old waste of time. But, we we'll have to do it. Can't let any chests go unchecked. I guess I should say any known chests. There's probably plenty that I've already missed. Okay. <laughs> Don't really know what happened there. I hit it at a weird angle. Might <laughs> glitched out like that. This is the one that had a couple, I won't say cheaty, but unfair. Uh. Like jumps, I guess, for ball. I kept like actually landing on it or grabbing all of it, but then it would be like, actually, no, you fell. Oh man. Okay. Last time I did this, I was like desperately trying to roll under it, but never could. But the time I almost effortlessly did that. Oh, there it is. For some reason I thought I was on the ceiling. Okay, that was a weird stutter. What do we got? <laughs> okay, mirror shield. I mean, as I said before, Vanilla playthrough. I love the mirror shield for some reason. It was the item that I was very fond of. Child. But I don't think it does me any good to be in here. Yeah, okay. I forgot this guy can freeze me. There's two of them. Okay. Let's just, uh. No, Link's got this ars arsenal of equipment. It would just be dumb not to use it. Okay. Thought he had died because Link, for some reason, stopped swinging at him. No, Link. I want to hit him in the back. It just occurred to me too that we did not get any fairies. We still very much have just our little fish friend. I was gripe on the fact that we got bombs last time. The last time in that chest, but we do need a bomb. And there it was. That's the one bomb we needed. I see you in the ceiling. Okay, sometimes these guys shower us with hearts. So will you do that? Now, for some reason, getting a lot of arrows. And nothing from that guy.
There we go. I mean, any heart is better than no heart. I get hit by the blade in today. I must kind of hit by the blade. Yep, don't need to deal with that guy. Go on about our day. Okay. There was a well in time where try that and oh man. For some reason he grabbed hold of the edge and then let go. Is there Oh, okay. I had to guess. Yep. It's funny how even if you don't remember a puzzle, I guess you get kind of like instincts of what the game is wanting you to do. What does it say? I love the phrasing that they use sometimes. The one with the eye of truth. So dramatic. No, you can't climb that. It's like, can I just climb up there and avoid all this mess? I want to, yeah, okay. I just want to be able to see around that uh, walk for a second. That would be very nice. Two. Oh, and uh, 18, I just changed it. Okay, so we're only one away from another token. What's this guy? Hopefully it's a key. I feel like we need at least one key on us. Or it could be a heart piece. Oh, and it's... okay. Enough to get another one. Uh... And drag this all the way over to be able to jump on it. This is a key. No, it's 50 rupees. over there. Maybe that would have been the better thing to do. Good enough? Okay, thank god. Even with my new controller, I still feel a little uneasy about the hookshot sometimes. You know, if uh, Barry wanted to pop out a jar at some point, I would not be upset about that. to give enough time for that thing to come by, but I decided that I didn't, it did not want me to wait. Okay. Is that eight? I already miss. Apparently so. Because what is that room? What is that room right there? This is not going to be fun. Can you even go back up that way? I don't know if I've ever tried that before. Wait, is there a couple chests in here? I just... 
I guess so. That that room. I'll find out here in a second. Cause I thought this was just a scatola room. Okay, so there has to be a key in here. We got these boots. They're only gonna hinder us. Come on. standing there for a while and did not get hit and all of a sudden we did. Unless one of the blights is longer. Okay. It's one key. What is this other one? Got in store for us. Oh, well, at least that's 20. And now we know what one of the rewards is. I can't remember what level. I want to say it was like 50, but I might be totally wrong about that too. I think in the vanilla version, there's no, I don't think there's a key in that room. I want to say there's just a Scatola. And that's what I was like. Oh, we can just skip that room. There we go. I do feel like it's a little cheaty that those guys can like seemingly float. Oh god. I didn't. I don't know why. I... This is like. Uh, I can get there in time. I felt like I was very close to not making that. Alright, there's a... Yeah, oh, that's interesting though, so if you have... Have your boots on, you just like walk over them. through that door. Did it reset? Hopefully not. Now we have to go through it. Yeah. I think this guy is just throw bomb into the planter. Or earn. Link. I'm trying to get you to turn around. You just weren't having it work. Not waste one of our bombs. I mean, they provide you this with the room. Right. That was a terrible throw. It has to be a key. Well, I say that. I don't know if it has to be. It has to be for us in this moment. That would be kind of interesting if, like, something else popped out. We had to...
I found a gas. Yep. I, think I knew I had to be there. I think I did that last time too. Kind of just feel it out. Oh no! I was wrong. We don't have everything. We're supposed to wear the boots. I don't know if it's actually possible to get out around this. Okay, mister. Okay, can we just stand up and use the frickin' hook shot? <laughs> like, at a certain point I was like, okay, it won't let me skirt around them. I got it, I learned my lesson. Let's just <laughs> move on. Warm my boots. Where does that take us? Does it take us all the way back? Yep. Okay. Means our terrible friend here. Oh, come on. That was like so close on it. You didn't give me that. Oh, well, that was cheap. That was so... cheap. It's like... I know it's possible to get there without the boots, so it's like part of me really wants to try at the same time. Is it gonna be, like, worth it? Come on, we did it before. Why are you doing this? Oh my god. Okay, so we definitely can't do it if the thing's blowing. And I hate that we... Every time it starts over, it's like on the same sink. So every single time we have to stop and wait for this one to blow. We have to... Wait for this guy to come down. Honestly, if we were quick enough, we could do this just like that. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. Okay, good. There's so many times where... Like want to lock onto something but for some reason with the redead so you have to be like right up on them I feel like oh okay okay we can go off on a limb here because I am a little nervous thinking about the dong or the dongo, bongo bongo. So I'm sorry, our fish friend did not make it through us. You'll not be forgotten. We never named you, so we don't feel too bad. See, I feel like. There's song. We'll get a fairy to pop out here. Just <laughs> do we know it. That's all we know, right? I don't think the song of time does anything. Oh, come on. Is it like... I mean, all that stuff is sorry a song, right? Not that sun song, though. I say it has to be a Pona song.
Let me capture that guy in a bottle. One of those fat fairies. Okay. I give the impression that we might have just wasted our fish. Is he still around? No. We might have well just wasted our fish. Oh my god. I could not see what I was doing. I hate it when the camera does that. It's so annoying. Oh no. Okay, there's a couple of chests in here. I was about to say, we are screwed because there's a log door. Okay, did that just lock onto the floating pot and not the undead mummy? I don't know if it's audible, but I might be able to hear me ferociously smacking the buttons on my controller. I hate those things. They are the worst. Oh, what am I doing? So used to having lens right there. I think I'm getting a lot of heart pieces in here. I mean, have to be the most common item in the game, I imagine. So I guess it's not that weird. Last time we made the mistake of climbing up there, and then when you try to come back down, the uh, the uh, block is reset. Kind of like, honestly, they kind of screw you over. shield. I think it's the most annoying thing. The idea of like, you're desperately trying to hit them, but because they have like a small animation where it's like, it looks like they shift a little bit. So you uh, think you can hit them, but then uh, you can't. I'm just gonna abandon the ship. Oh, is that a thing? Because I learned last time, I was always under the impression you had to defeat them within the time frame. And then last time, I did realize, oh, you can just jump off and not have to fight those things. It didn't seem to change me. I also learned that killing those things is a waste of time, too. Just a normal bottle. I think we put that on the gossip stone. I don't remember it being in the shadow temple. 
Okay, well, now we got another bottle for fairies. the same thing we already did, but on a spinning platform. Okay. Oh, I think was that one to move right there. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Oh, got something on the first one. I feel like, oh, that's just arrows, magic, and, oh, okay. So this is just, basically, it's just a room. Unless, I don't think the item would have disappeared if it was a key item. I'm gonna say, unless those arrows were... A swapped out important item. I remember being stuck in this room for a minute as a kid. Not realizing it's actually pretty simple. It's like one of the two places you actually need to inspire. You not get burned up. <laughs> we definitely need that for the end of the game. I was wondering, I was worried that at some point we would, we would like be ready to fight Ganon, but just not be able to find the light arrow. But actually, is kind of um uh. Put of, puts my mind at ease that we already got it. We don't have to worry about it later. Don't know if there's like a way to beat the game with, without them. Oh no. Just thought about it. <laughs> we need the fire arrows, don't we? Or can we set these off? Oak shot, is that a thing? Can we set it off with Din's fire? Will it reach that far? Can we do hover boots? Hover and then do Din's fire. No, we can't. I... I'm gonna be so mad if we got all this way and I totally forgot about these freaking bombs. Can we shoot them? Just shoot them with the normal... Okay. <laughs> really, <laughs> really happy that worked. Because we're... I don't think we have that... Oh my god, did that just fall and kill me? We are not that far away from the end, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, that should have been a clue right there, I guess. Just got arrows. But I can't even imagine what I'd do. I don't even know how you get back, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I would do at that point. I guess just save and quit. this it's like some reason like other magic doesn't work like you can't do like spin attack also for some reason it doesn't look like oh there it goes it doesn't look like the other boots 
glow, but they totally do. Okay. Last time we did this, I had some issues with like the Z targeting, but hopefully. Okay. Did not have my bow pulled out, even though I just shot it. to getting him right. I was feeling we're gonna have like one more hit and I could have been it. Nice. Man, that was so much cleaner than the last time I did that. Oh wow, is that the... Okay, that's just the Silver Gauntlets. That looked gold to me for a second. Okay. I mean, that unlocks another fairy found for us, but... I, there's... I mean, there might be like a secret hole at some point. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So I haven't been able to figure out if it's the medallion that triggers the next thing or if it's the actual completion of a dungeon. So this will answer it. So we haven't completed the water temple, but we have the water medallion. So if we come out here and she teaches us a new song, then we know it's just medallion base. That's actually going to be pretty nice. Unless it's the Prater Loader Light and then it's useless. Hmm. Let's exit and come back. Maybe because you're not really supposed to be able to enter from that way. I don't know if that would not trigger the cutscene. Okay, no. We actually had to beat the water temple, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? We're already going over a little bit this episode. Let's go ahead and see what our second level reward. Really weird way of saying the 20 reward Scatola. You. It's like the fifth hearth piece this episode. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is a little it went a little bit long, but figured why not? Just go ahead and do the shadow temple. We had everything we needed, and we actually we actually did. Even though it would have been nice without iron boots, we still got there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.